Majority of the patients who are suffering from moderate or severe COVID-19 have their inflammatory markers which are elevated in the recent blood reports. The most important markers what you have to check anyone who is suffering from COVID-19 will be C-reactive protein, interleukin-6, D-dimers and you also have to check the leukocyte count and the ferritin levels and other inflammatory markers. You have to check those because these inflammatory markers are going to give you the severity of the disease and how the disease is progressing in your body. So in today's topic, I am going to discuss about uh, interleukin-6 pathway inhibitors called as tocilizumab to treat hospitalized COVID-19 patients. When I am specifically talking about hospitalized COVID-19 patients, the patients who are already suffering from severe form of COVID-19 are the only one who get hospitalized, whose saturation levels of the oxygen are getting dropped. These are the one who take this drug. It is also very important to understand for everyone that just because I am talking about tocilizumab here, you cannot take the injection at all irrespective of your severity without advice by your doctor. And this drug will be administered in the hospital by the staff itself and the physician who is treating the COVID-19 will decide whether you have to take the tocilizumab or not. And the talk what I am going to, to give you an insight about tocilizumab and its effects on the COVID-19 in hospitalized patients. We know that anyone who is suffering from the COVID-19, whether it is a moderate or severe form of a disease, there will be a marked inflammatory markers. As I already mentioned about the D-dimers and ferritin, and there will be an elevated pro-inflammatory cytokines, especially interleukin-6. This is mainly associated with a critical and fatal COVID-19. And blocking this inflammatory pathway is very important to prevent the disease progression. So there are several agents that target the interleukin-6 pathway which have been evaluated in the randomized trials for the treatment of COVID-19. These include the interleukin-6 receptor blocker that is tocilizumab and sarilumab and also there is a drug called as direct interleukin-6 inhibitor siltuximab. So these are all the drugs which are administered especially for the patient who are suffering from COVID-19 who admitted in the hospital with the severe form of the disease. This tocilizumab is given as a drip which means intravenous infusion or as an injection directly into the vein. You may be asked for a regular blood test to check the blood counts, cholesterol level and liver functioning during the treatment. It might make you feel dizzy. If this happens, avoid driving or operating on machinery if you are doing any job, but it is not possible if you are hospitalized. It makes it hard to fight with an infection. So inform your doctor if you notice fever, cough or stomach pain. And also inform your doctor if you are pregnant, planning to become pregnant or breastfeeding. And do not stop taking medicine without talking to your doctor first. So here we will take some of the questionnaires related to tocilizumab. Who should be treated with tocilizumab here? Remember the point that tocilizumab should be given for treating patients suffering from moderate to severe COVID-19 infection who have persistent reduction in their oxygen levels, the condition which is called as hypoxia or we can say the blood saturation levels of oxygen is getting worse or continue to get worse. The hypoxia may continue to get worse in 24 to 48 hours of treatment with corticosteroids and supportive care. For these individuals, it is important to administer this tocilizumab. And another important question majority of the patients have is, is tocilizumab recommended for all COVID-19 patients? If not, why? No, tocilizumab is not recommended for all the COVID-19 patients. The main reason behind this is tocilizumab has its own potential health hazards, which means side effects. Because this tocilizumab can lead to persistent serious infections, and prolonged multiplication and shedding of the virus causing infection. 
So it must be given only if the benefits outweigh the risks involved. There's a reason I always mention that it should be administrated only in the hospitalized patients who are suffering from severe form of COVID-19. And it is very important for each and every individual to know what are the important side effects of the tocilizumab. The potential side effects of the tocilizumab include anaphylaxis, meaning serious allergic reaction, that is with infusion, and transaminitis. There will be very high levels of liver enzymes due to which they start moving into the bloodstream. And leukopenia is identified in vast majority of the individuals, meaning a condition where a person has reduced WBC count and hence increased risk of various types of infections. And neutropenia, a condition where the person has abnormally low level of cells called as neutrophils, which fights against the infection in our body. These are the most important side effects what we have from tocilizumab and other some of the side effects or risks of uh, serious bacterial infections, viral infections and reactivation of the tuberculosis. So there's a reason it is always taken with a precaution. And who should not be given tocilizumab? Remember this point that tocilizumab should be avoided in individuals who has hypersensitivity tocilizumab. If you do not know about this hypersensitivity, you have to have the test which is performed and or contact your healthcare provider. Or maybe the patient having uncontrolled serious infections other than COVID-19 should not take tocilizumab. Or any individuals whom have their neutrophil count already less than 500 cells per microliter or the individuals with a platelet count less than 50k or any individuals where the liver enzymes that is alanine transaminase which is elevated that is greater than five times the upper limit of the normal these are the individuals who should not take tocilizumab and the use of the tocilizumab is contraindicated, especially in the pregnancy and breastfeeding mothers too, owing to its risks of developing serious complications to the newborn baby. And another important question here is, what to do if there is no improvement seen after giving the tocilizumab also? So it is not your problem, it is a problem of the hospital staff or the doctor who is treating you. So your doctor will decide the next course of action if there is no improvement seen even after giving tocilizumab. Remember a very important point about this drug is tocilizumab will prevent inflammation of the lungs but will not cure the damage which is already done due to the existing disease. It will only prevent worsening of the symptom worsening of the complication which will develop from the inflammatory markers. There's a reason I already mentioned that it inhibits the levels of interleukin-6. So recovery of the lungs takes time to improve. It has nothing to do with the tocilizumab, right? Persistent breathlessness after taking tocilizumab administration requires further evaluation of the patients for other lung-related issues. That is most commonly maybe pulmonary intravascular coagulopathy or heart related problems maybe in the form of any kind of cardiac dysfunctions or any other bacterial infection that might have occurred should also be treated separately. So this is what each and every of you should know about tocilizumab in preventing COVID-19 disease progression but it will not treat or cure the COVID-19 infection. Thank you.